Hi everyone, I'm Francis from Last Minute English. Today we're going to talk about a very quick and easy way that you can improve your English vocabulary and fluency by doing one easy thing. So let's get started. So how can we improve our vocabulary and fluency in a very quick way? The answer is collocations. So collocations are those simple words that we very often put together to make a fixed meaning. For example, get on well with someone. So all of those words are very simple. When we put them together, they mean have a good relationship with someone. Collocations are extremely common. Uh, as native speakers, we use them all the time, every day. Uh, every conversation. So they're really worth learning. And the good thing is that usually they use simple words that you already know, so they're quicker for you to learn. You're not learning lots of new vocabulary, you're just learning more ways to use the words that you already know. Look at get on well with. You know all of those words, those are very simple words. But when we put them together and we learn them as a collocation, they become very natural English and make us sound much more authentic when we're speaking. And because they're just simple words that you already know, it's easier for you to remember them when you're talking. And that's also going to improve your fluency. So it's vocabulary and fluency. Now there are hundreds of collocations that are very common in English. So I think a lot of them really are worth learning. Uh, but in today's video, we're just going to look at eight very quick ones, all using the word get. So the first one we already saw, get on well with someone. So it's have a good relationship. We could say, I get on well with my parents. The next two are about uh, work. So first of all, get a job. So that means, when you find a job. You don't have a job, and then you do have a job. That means you get a job. So you could say to someone, you should get a job, or I need to get a job. And then, if you don't do your job very well, you might get fired. So that means your boss says, goodbye. The next one is, get started. So that's a more natural way of saying, start or begin something. You'll often hear it in um, a meeting or in a class. Uh, the, the manager or the teacher will say, okay, let's get started. The next one is get the message, get the message. And this one actually means two things. First of all, very simply, it means receive a message. That's, one that's easy to understand. The other one is a little more difficult. It means um, if someone is not understanding what you're saying, or maybe they don't want to listen to what you're saying for some reason, then we can make them understand. And that means that they get the message. Uh, for example, someone could say, make sure that guy gets the message. It means make sure he understands, even though maybe he doesn't want to listen. The next one is get over. So this talks about when you've had something bad in the past. For example, you got fired, or maybe you uh, failed an exam, or maybe you broke up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, and you've been feeling bad about that for some time. What you have to do is to get over it, or get over them, get over that person. Uh, and it means that you stop feeling bad. You put all of those bad feelings into the past and you start to feel good again. That's getting over something. The next one is get on with something. Uh, and that means to continue with something, maybe do it a little bit faster. Let's say that you've been trying to ignore some important work that you have to do. And then you say to yourself, come on, I have to get on with this. That means I have to continue it. I have to try to finish this work. And then the last one is get lost. And this one also has two meanings. The first one is when you're 
you're going somewhere and you can't find the way and you don't know where you are. That means you got lost. You have no idea where you are. The other meaning is uh, it's kind of a way of, of being rude to someone, telling them to go away. You can say, get lost. It means go away. I don't like you. I don't want to see you anymore. So those are eight different collocations, all using the word get. And as you can see, all of the, the other words in there are pretty simple. But when we put them together into a fixed expression, uh, they become a pretty useful and very common and natural way of speaking English. If you'd like to see more of them, there's a link down here in the article. We also have our shop. The link is down here. And in our shop, you can find our IELTS courses to help you get a high score. And also we have a uh, formal writing course uh, that's really good for anyone who has to write essays or emails or reports or take exams with written English. You can find the link down here. I'm Francis from Last Minute English. Please remember to subscribe down here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.